People think the ocean is so big that uh, we can have very little impact on it. The fact of the matter is people can and do have a huge impact on the global ocean. Uh, most of that comes from uh, the things that we put into it that weren't there, contamination of various kinds, plastic and, and chemicals, uh, but also a large part of what we do to the ocean is taking things out of it, taking the largest animals, the largest plants out of it, and the effects of fishing on coastal ecosystems is profound. It alters the whole structure and the persistence of the system. One of the challenges with uh, uh, managing the integrity of coastal ecosystems is keeping all of the pieces. People tend to want to take out the largest, most valuable parts. So those are the biggest fish, the ones for which we've developed a market. So it's just like taking wolves out of Yellowstone, taking the big fish out of coral reefs and kelp forests has the same effect. And you get overgrazing by small urchins and uh, sea stars and things of that sort, and uh, the whole system starts to unravel. Keeping people engaged in uh, taking care of the ocean is a real challenge because the resources are out of sight and out of mind. It's an alien environment, one in which they've had very little experience. Uh, so just getting people to acknowledge that there's something below the surface of the ocean that's worth taking care of is uh, one of the big challenges. Life on Earth wouldn't be the same without the ocean. It produces most of the oxygen in the atmosphere. It absorbs a lot of the carbon dioxide that we all know about is causing problems with global change and increasing the temperature of the atmosphere. The ocean is a key element for providing food and fiber and other products for people. So it, it's really important to life on Earth. Plants and animals in the ocean don't wander the whole ocean. When you look at it from the surface, it's flat and blue and it goes everywhere and it doesn't look like it changes very much. But when you get down on the bottom or you get below the surface, then it all changes and you find out there are neighborhoods and communities. And some of the plants and animals live for very long periods of time. We have rockfish at Channel Islands National Park and in Glacier Bay that live over 100 years. Sea urchins that live 100, maybe 200 years. So we've got animals that exist in these places and don't wander more than a few hundred yards from where they settled as juveniles uh, for their entire lives. The fishing inadvertently and indirectly has reduced the complexity and the productivity of this community from a thousand species in incredible productivity down to 200 species and barren rocks. 